we're hitting the road. We're heading to Choctahatchee Bay, which is about an hour drive from where we're living. And there's these little islands out there. It's like marshiness, but then the marsh kind of breaks off until there's like kind of rivers in between forming these little islands. Amazing, amazing scenery. But um, we really want to explore this island because last time we checked, it was up for sale. Everybody likes to dream, right? So we figured, hey, maybe this could be a future Wild Brothers location sometime. That'd be sweet to own an island. And uh, it's kind of like window shopping though. Most, most likely, yeah, we're not gonna get it. But we thought we'd go check it out. And um, that's kind of the adventure for today. We're going to Choctahatchee Bay. Choctahatchee Bay, sorry. It's hard to tell from the chart. And so much of Florida is like swampland. So is this island like swampy and marshy and just totally unusable? Or is it high enough ground where it's actually dry? We're not sure. So we'll kayak out there, kind of circle the island and then maybe do a little bit of exploring interior. We're not gonna mess around, just kind of look at it. And um, I don't know, it'd be fun. I would love to buy my own island one day. So maybe this is our future island, we'll see. I'm just a little nervous with all of our uh, equipment in the back. It's really sticking out a lot and it's kind of funny. Everybody's giving me a wide berth, but I just hope we lash those things down tight enough. So fun fact, I know, where, I know exactly where we're at. I was married under a tree not too far from here. So we're right next to Eden Garden State Park. Like How many months has it been? It's been just a few days over eight months. Oh my goodness. Yes. It seems like just the other day. It's crazy. I know. Eight yeah, months? Your dad said, well, we can use a car. So wait. All right. Well, good deal. All right, guys. Let's, let's unload and go. Asher, come give us a hand. So the whole point of this trip is really to do some exploration. According to the charts, we're gonna paddle out of this little kind of um, little bayou river area, and then we're gonna break out into the bay, and then we're gonna go directly across to this big island area. But once we make it in that, we can hopefully circumnavigate this whole island. And who knows, maybe we'll even try to find a little kind of beachy area where we can even do some exploring on the mainland. We're gonna be fighting the wind all the way to the island. All right, here's where we're going, over to the other side of the channel here. This is crazy, the waves really building up. The wind's just kind of bringing them up and we have to go against them. Water, it's getting wet. We're taking on water, guys. You can't, you can't have the bad touch in the water. You can put in your lap, please. Because the big one. Hey, hot thing. Whoa. So this is Choctawachi Bay. Choctawachi. This is Choctawatchee Bay. Choctahatchee. This is Choctahatchee Bay. This land is really marshy out here. None of it's developed. And so it's pretty cool because we're like, we're out in the wild pretty much. I'm like totally soaking wet, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady, steady. Steady. That was close. Can you guys see it? I can, dead ahead. This looks like an opening. This is actually the island, I think. It's hard to tell, it looks like it's the mainland, but actually it's divided by this narrow channel of water that kind of just cuts it off from the mainland. So it, it is an island. Oh, it's so nice to be over on this side. We're protected now, there's no big waves. So I say, so we go through and check it out, guys. This is so cool. Guys, I want to get the drone out for this part right here. Sort of bird activity at the It's kind of like old Florida back here. It's like this whole little island in river system. It's like trapped in time. All these like ancient cypress trees, and they're covered with this Spanish moss. And 
there's not a human in sight and it's so quiet. It's really actually peaceful because we have all this tall grass on either side and it's kind of a breezy day so the wind is just rustling through all the, all the reeds and there's little birds and all the trees just chirping away. It's really peaceful and beautiful. It's kind of mysterious back here. I'm surprised I've never, never like heard about this place or actually been out here. There's a pretty good sized current. This is like a river. The water's flowing out. So I don't know. I actually don't know where the water's coming from. If it attaches to the bay, so the bay water's coming down like this little passage into the bayou, or if this is a freshwater creek or not. But um, this river seems to just go on and on. Um, so I think there's a nice place up here to stop. There's an overhanging tree. We'll pull up our, our canoe and kayak and then eat some lunch and finish our circumnavigation afterwards. We're all getting a little bit hungry. You guys sure? Oh, thank you. Bama. Oh, sorry. Give me back one. Wait, do, I, do I get two sandwiches? No, just one. Oh. You got Morgan. Thanks. Oh, we got some bread. Mm-hmm. We got some peanut butter. Yeah. We got some honey. With some seeds mixed in with the bread. Sounds amazing. With some bananas, apples, oranges, sandwich. So, y'all. Do we want to actually go inland, or should we keep just like going along on the canoes? Just going on the canoe. It looks well, hard to get. Yeah, on the island. It's pretty, pretty dead. We find a little spot where we can anchor the boats for a little bit. We could try to make our way inland. You know, this is not the kind of island I envisioned. There's no beachhead. There's no nothing. I love this area. This this little river thing is just incredible. I would love to have this in my backyard someday. That'd be pretty sweet. But it is super, super dense. It'd be, it'd be almost impossible to build a house. But I would like to explore in a little bit. It'd be pretty exciting. Also to see what lives in here. I mean, no one's probably been into this island for... Into the heart of it? Who knows? Who knows if anyone's ever been in it? I mean, it's just so dense. It's kind of off the bean track, so... Well, if we I, go in, we would be going where maybe no one has ever gone before. I would it's pretty exciting. I think we need to pull up into the brush. All right, well, I think you guys just need to stay there and man the ships, and Ashley and I will go explore. I think so, too. All right. All right. Venture well. You guys be safe. We, we got this, man. All right, this one's for snakes. Wait, sorry, is this a track? Maybe that's, wait, that's too big for right here. Coyote, probably. Man, what is it? What oh, is that thing? You know what? That is a very singular print. It has two kind of looks like hoof marks. You know, that's might be from a um, a hog. So there must be hogs out here in this island somewhere. Yeah. Fallen logs is a great way to get around. Oh, these are kind of pitiful. They're kind of skinny. We've reached pretty far inland to the island now, and it's it's just marsh. So what we're finding is, this is probably not the best type of real estate for building houses on. So I'm not sure about this property being for, for building at all for in the future. It's just, it's too swampy and it's too marshy and just too hard to get to really. It is sweet though. I love just being out in like old Florida area. I mean, this is probably how all of Florida used to look like. Just really marshy and swampy, lots of tall grass, lots of snakes and alligators. It would have been really cool to be the first explorer in this area. Oh my and goodness. Just seeing all this untamed. It's beautiful, but area. it's hard to hard to get through, hard to live in. That is beautiful. Look at those little oh, flowers. That stands out so much. I think we've seen what we need to see. I think this whole area is probably very similar to what we're standing on right now. It's just marshy, a lot of wet ground. But um, yeah, I think he and I are going to start making our way back. This was good though. I'm glad that we at least decided to try to make our way in a little bit because now we know what the what it looks like on the ground, you know, quite literally. Where do we came from over that way, right? So we popped out 
of the little channel there. Now we're in kind of the, a bigger mangrove section, and this is the edge of the island here. So we're kind of finishing up our circumnavigation, and it's just so beautiful. And right here, it's especially nice because the winds die down. There's very little current. And we're just kind of we're just kind of drifting down, and um, yeah, <laughs> nice contrast from our paddle here. You know, thinking about this, it kind of reminds me that the Christian life should not be like this. You know, we enjoy moments of serenity and just um, easy going. The truth is what we've been learning um, even recently in our local church through the book of Hebrews is that kind of the primary mark of the Christian life is its endurance and perseverance. Our lives as Christians, um, living a life of faith, truly countercultural and kind of radical for Jesus Christ, it's not gonna look like, it's not gonna look like this. It's gonna look like earlier, fighting the waves, fighting the wind, straining, um, just pushing on with every ounce of energy. And in our lives as believers, there can be seasons of time where we kind of grow complacent and we, we get tired of, of, the, of the fight and we slow down. And then that current starts to take us and just drift us off course. And before we know it, you know, we compromise our faith. We're not living a life for God. We're just kind of doing our own thing. And so, yeah, easy moments like this are, are good, but <laughs> at the same time, if you're not persevering, if you're not enduring in faith, fighting the good fight, then you should check yourself and stop and ask, hey, am I really living in obedience to my Savior? Am I living a life that's pleasing to Him? We learned that we're saved by grace through faith alone in the completed and perfect work of Jesus Christ on our behalf on the cross. That's how we're saved. And yet we also see a simultaneous truth alongside that is that the fruit of and the evidence of that, that salvation that Christ secured for us is perseverance, it's endurance. And so the Christian life, it's all about finishing well. You know, something that I pray for myself and my brothers and really all of us is that um, at, at, the, at the end of our lives, we could say with the Apostle Paul, you know, I've, I've fought the good fight. I've finished the race. I've kept the faith. At the end of, at the, end of the day, it's like, it doesn't matter in this life if we've accumul accumulated a lot of wealth, if we have a nice house, a couple nice cars, it's like in the light of eternity, all that is kind of, it just perishes. And what really matters is at the end of our lives, we can look back and say, man, we've, we've lived all out for the Lord. We've done great things for Him. We've, we've picked up our crosses and followed after the pattern of our Savior Jesus. And that's not gonna come without struggles, without hardships. It's gonna be persevering and, and enduring every step of the way. But um, the good news is that you know, Jesus Christ promises us at the end of that race, across the finish line, is it's glory, it's eternity and joy with Him forever. In a world that's free of sin, free of suffering, free of the effects of our, our sin. <laughs> and so to that end, we keep striving every day. We keep pushing through through it all. And that's that's kind of our hope in this life. And and so that's what gets us, that's what gets us across the channel, you know, through those waves, through the wind. In the in the currents, and uh, it's a it's a hope worth fighting for. Yeah, looks like that's our exit over there, guys. I think we've circ circumnavigated the island. Good job. All right. That's a great paddle. Good that trip. <laughs> this is a cool place. We're gonna have to come back here. This is just worth the paddle. All right, guys, let's head home. Hey guys, we just want to let you know before we end this vlog episode that we really appreciate you guys, especially our patrons. Thank you guys so much for making these um, vlog episodes possible. We'll catch you guys real soon. And um, yeah, God bless. See you guys soon. See you guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching The Wild Way. And double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.